Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video. And today I'm going to tell you a few reasons why you should read the Pickwick Papers. So a few weeks ago on this channel I announced that I'm about to embark on a two year long read long, um, reading all of the works of Charles Dickens in publication order. I am hugely excited for this. It's called the Mega Dickens Read Long or um, just hashtag Dickens Along. And we're starting off with Dickens's first full length novel, The Pickwick Papers, which we're reading in October and November 2022. Um, so. You don't have to read it in any set schedule, um, as long as you finish it by the end of November 2022, and um, then you're on track with the read-along. And what I'm going to do throughout this read-along is at the start of the month or two months where we're reading a particular book, I'm going to put up a little video like this, reminding you that the read-along is happening, what book we're going to be reading for the next month or two, and giving you um, a few reasons, let's say five reasons, why you ought to read the book. Um, I'll try and keep it relatively brief, um, but I thought this might be a fun thing to do, to keep the read-along in everyone's head, um, and also to give you a little introduction to the book before you begin. However, before I get into talking about the Pickwick Papers, I do have a little bit of an update for the Mega Dickens Read Along in general, and that is that I have created a Discord server. Um, so when I put the video up announcing the Dickens Read Along, um, a lot of people um, were quite interested in having a Discord server. I like Goodreads, I have been using Goodreads for a long time, um, but I do feel like um, the Goodreads threads are not always like the easiest way to have a flowing conversation um, and I feel like for a long-term project like this, um, Discord might be better. So I have set up a Discord server and I will still use the Goodreads server too and I will still set up threads on that, but I think primarily the read-along will take place on Discord. Um, I hope that's okay for people. Lots of people seemed quite keen on Discord and I know a lot of booktubers use it. Um, I'm getting into it myself um, with a few different things, so I thought I would try Discord for the Dickens along. Um, so I'll link the Discord server link down below and you should be able to go and join. Let me know if you have any problems joining because this is the first Discord server I've created, so it's a bit new to me. Discord, I think you can do it through your web browser. You can also download an app on your phone or you can download the app on your computer. Um, I have the desktop thing on my computer and it works really well and I really like it. Um, if you click the link, I'm sure it will give you options. But um, regardless, I highly recommend Discord. Um, I'm really enjoying it and I think it'll be good for this read along. So there'll be like a general channel for like chat um, and introductions when people join the Discord server. There'll also be a different like channel or thread for all of the different books. And I might create a few like channels or threads on particular themes. I don't know if people will be interested in that. If you don't know what Discord is, it's a really good like forum chat room um, software that is free. And I am finding it um, slightly more flowing than Goodreads, um, love Goodreads as I do. So I'll link that down below, please do come and join. Um, as we start reading books, um, please be aware of spoilers and don't spoil anything for anyone. There is a spoiler function on Discord which you can do where you can like black out um, some of the text you've written if it's a spoiler and then someone can click on it um, if they're happy to be spoiled or not click on it if they don't want to be. So I suggest that's something we use um, at least like during the month or two where we're reading a particular book. I think once that month is gone then spoilers much you like and the kind of like general rules for the discord server and the schedule um, are all on a separate thread there too so you'll be able to find that on discord please do come and join and let me know if you have any problems joining while i'm talking about the schedule i also realized i made one error um in the schedule that i put up um in the description of my video last time in that there was one month which was covered twice. So I have now fixed that in the schedule on that description and also on the Discord server and on Goodreads. So I'm really excited for the Mega Dickens read along and I can't wait to get started. I'm also gonna put up a video on this channel in the next week or two um, with like tips for getting into Dickens and tips for reading Dickens, which hopefully will be useful for some of you as well. But let's finally get on to talking about the Pickwick Papers. As I said, we're gonna be reading the Pickwick Papers in October or November. You can read it across both the two months. You can read it now in the next week. You can read it in the last week of November, whatever you like. So what is the Pickwick Papers about? The Pickwick Papers is a little bit different from Dickens' other novels in that it doesn't have a overarching narrative arc. It is very, very episodical. It's more like a series of loosely connected events happening to the same bunch of characters. Um, I would say that reading the Pickwick Papers is more like reading a TV series, whereas reading other Dickens novels is more like watching a film, if that makes sense. I think that's the easiest way to distinguish what the Pickwick Papers is. So don't expect it to have an overarching plot, but basically we're following a group of characters and all the various different things that happen to them. The full name of the Pickwick Papers is the Posthumous Papers of the Pickwick Club, um, and it is following various characters who are part of the Pickwick Club. Um, so Mr. Samuel Pickwick um, and his three friends, 
Nathaniel Winkle, Tracy Tupman, and Augustus Snodgrass, never has the burn a better name, um, and they are all a bit silly, um, and a little bit caricatured, and excellent fun, um, and they are the kind of main characters, along with uh, Mr Pickwick's manservant, Sam Weller, um, who is glorious too. Um, and basically we're following these characters travelling around different bits of England, getting into various scrapes and doing silly things, and it's just excellent fun. So let me give you five reasons why you should read the Pickwick papers. The first reason why you should read the Pickwick Papers is Sam Weller. Sam Weller is the best and I love him and he is my favourite character in the Pickwick Papers by such a long way. He is an excellent creation and a fantastic character and just an utter joy to read about. The second reason why you should read the Pickwick Papers is all the rest of the characters. The Pickwick Papers has a wonderful, strange, weird cast of characters. Dickens loves to use caricature, um, especially in his early novels, and the Pickwick Papers is full of hilarious, wonderful caricatures um, and really entertaining, memorable characters who are just like excellent fun to read about and very very silly a lot of the time. The third reason why you should read the Pickwick Papers is its unusual form and all the episodic fun. Like I said it's a very episodic novel and um, we're not following one narrative arc really although there are a few characters that turn up again and again but we're much more following like little narrative arcs and often the Pickwick Club are like traveling around different bits of England meeting lots of different people um, and kind of different things happen to them in not every chapter but in each like few chapters and I just really like that about the Pickwick Papers is quite different and it's really good fun um, and it's definitely a reason why the Pickwick Papers is worth a read. The fourth reason why you should read the Pickwick Papers is um, the stories within stories. So one thing that is quite fun about the Pickwick Papers is that every now and then they'll meet a character on their journey um, and the character will say let me tell you a story and then there'll just be a short story for a chapter um, and that happens I can't remember how many times in the Pickwick Papers it must be at least three or four times it might be more than that but there's quite a few like just random short stories like dotted throughout the Pickwick Papers including one called The Goblin Who Stole the Sexton, um, which is basically like an early model for A Christmas Carol. Um, this was published six years before A Christmas Carol, I believe. Um, and The Goblin Who Stole a Sexton is basically like, you can see how A Christmas Carol came out of that, which is really fun. And I really like all the little short stories that people like randomly tell along the way. It's really odd when you're reading it. It's very strange and very Victorian, um, but it's really good fun and I really like it. And the fifth reason, the main reason why you should read The Pickwick Papers is that it is hilarious. It is really, really good fun. It's very silly. It's a comic novel, it's meant to be funny, um, and it is extremely funny. I really, really enjoy the Pickwick papers, the silly situations that Mr Pickwick gets himself into, the utter joy that is Sam Weller, um, all of the silly, ridiculous things that happen to all the characters all the time. It's just excellent fun, very silly, um, and really, really enjoyable. The Pickwick papers is really, really funny, and that is the main reason why you should read it. I am super excited to be reading the Pickwick papers. I am not actually going to be reading this physical copy, I'm going to be listening to um, the audiobook on Audible, which is narrated by Rory Kinnear, who is an actor I really like. I think he will do a great job with the Pickwick Papers. So I'm really looking forward to listening to the audiobook. I've read the Pickwick Papers several times before, at least three times, probably four times, um, but I've never listened to an audiobook before, so that'll be a really nice new experience for me. Um, and I'm just very excited to reread it because I love it a lot. That's all for now. Please let me know down in the comments if you're going to be taking part in the Mega Dickens read along. Are you going to be reading the paper papers with us over the next month or two? Let me know down in the comments. Please head over and join the Discord server, whether you want to join in for the paper papers or for the whole thing or one or two books, whatever you like. Um, and that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.